In this webcast, we're going to go over some practical guidelines for generating our resonance contributors and show you some examples of resonance. So the first thing you want to do is always identify your pushable electrons, and these are going to be your electron source. This is normally an unshared electron pair. Also, multiple bonds and the pi electrons of those multiple bonds are great pushable electrons. The next thing you have to designate is where are these electrons going to be pushed. This is the electron sink. Typical places for the electron sink to be are atoms with a formal positive charge or an atom that can accommodate a formal negative charge, which tends to be an electronegative atom, such as oxygen or nitrogen. The next thing you have to identify is a pathway of these delocalized electrons that you can connect these pushable electrons together to connect that source to its sink. So in this example, we take a lone pair on our oxygen, which is going to be our source, and we're going to push it towards our electron sink, which is our carbocation. Now when we do this, we're going to do a vertex to edge transfer, where we just go from that oxygen, that vertex, and just take it to the edge. Notice how we did not push it just to that carbon, we pushed it to the bond between the oxygen and the carbon. Now we create our resonance contributor. Another example here is we have a positive charge and a pi bond next to it. So the source of our pushable electrons is indeed going to be this pi bond. The pi electrons within that carbon-carbon bond are going to be pushable. And the sink here is going to be that carbocation. Now this is another type of arrow transfer that we can do. This is our edge vertex edge transfer in which we take those pi electrons, move them over to form another pi bond, therefore leaving that cation on the previous carbon. So that is an, indeed a valid resonance structure. We have another example shown here in which we have a carbocation and then this carbocation is connected by an alkane chain and then an alkene out here on the edge. Now unfortunately we don't have any resonance contributors we can draw for this compound and the reason we don't is that we don't have a pathway of delocalized electrons that we can show to move that pi bond over to that carbocation. Any time that you see a cation or an anion in pi bonds, it doesn't mean that you can always push your electrons there. So there are no resonance structures we can draw for this particular compound. Here's another example here, in which the source is going to be that lone pair on our oxygen that carries a negative charge. That's going to be our electron-rich part of the molecule. And the electron sink is going to be an electronegative oxygen on the other side of it. So we take our arrow and we go from a lone pair, this is a vertex to edge, followed by an edge to vertex arrow, in which we can push those electrons from that top oxygen down to our bottom oxygen and show this other resonance form. The best way to learn resonance structures and resonance forms is to practice, practice, practice. Keep on practicing and you'll get the hang of it in no time. There are many practice problems available to you, so I highly recommend practicing resonance as much as you possibly can.